Hi guys, it's Haley, and today we're watching Outer Banks Season 1, Episode 4. This episode is called Spy Games. If you guys want early and uncut reactions, leave my Patreon down in the description. But besides that, let's just get right into it. Cheryl. Come into your house. <laughs> it's kind of a bad time for a check-in. This is Deputy Thomas. He works with juveniles for the Sheriff's Department. <laughs> oh, see, that's my nightmare right there. Look, I, 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 I want emancipation. Emancipation from who? There's nobody here but you. Yeah, that's my dad. And you know what he wanted? He wanted me to stay here at home. And you're taking me away from home. Do you understand that? It's the law, John B. Oh. No, stop, 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 please, stop. My picture. It's the last picture of my dad. Please. It's not gonna happen. Kid. Come come on, Cheryl. Just stop the car. Look at this idiot. I mean, he's not even looking in the right place. It's gonna get trashed, Cheryl. Please. It's my final keepsake of my dad. Are you really gonna let that happen? Right on, Thomas. <laughs> So there's an old saying about hitting a big jump. When hucking, it's safer you commit. Yep, you got Which, like in a lot of commonly accepted wisdom, is bullshit. Hey, do you see a car? Like a like a cop SUV? Blue and white, maybe? Yes, there is a blue and white cop SUV. <laughs> Is she a guy with uh, no neck? There is a guy who, in fact, does not have a neck. There is a woman with him. You know what? Don't take me to the hospital. Just take a left, please. Maybe do something. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Hold like this, don't just sink, Dr. Thorpe. How much is this going to cost me? Submerged 24 hours, so you're looking at 25, 30 k. Oh, I did not do this. Are you kidding me? You think I'm that stupid? Why is this my fault? Because it usually is. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Rafe, if you want to jump him on the golf course, I'd still have a boat, right? Sorry if I, uh, had your back after some Pogue put a, put a gun to your head. Okay, but it wasn't Pogue and did it. Okay, every man would be happy if the next employee was bleeding all over the so don't bleed. Okay, I'll just hold it in. Lift up your shirt. Oh, big ass for That's a second. Is that running out roll? Yes. It's the only way to be safe. Don't want to get infected. Stop. Excuse you. Sorry. <laughs> How did a slave found a cotton plantation? He was a free man. He's kind of a mystery. He showed up out of nowhere and paid for all the land around here in gold. In gold? He, he was on the Royal Merchant. But there's no survivors. What, fugitive stuff? Uh, well, fugitive adjacent, sort of. It's, um, it's a matter of national security. <laughs> I just waited my entire life for someone to say that to me. <laughs> I, I know this sounds crazy, me too, but me I really too. need to borrow that past. I need to go. Now. And I'm going with. Down for the whistle. Exactly. That's what I do. Yes. One last mission. JJ. What was it? JJ. That's what I thought, man. Where's he getting all these bullets from? They know. They don't give scholarships to kids who eventually sink boats. It's not even like on my transfer. I don't put the regret, bro. The caves you're facing. They hit us, we hit them. It's the law of the jungle. Deny the living That's right. Deny, deny, deny. Three people looking for the merchant's round, okay. One was a drunk fool, the others were from off, didn't know the currents. Yeah, that's what I thought. Coroner's report. When was the last time you had a homicide? This is the guy that chased John B. through town. Cheryl said he bolted when showing a big mug with DCS, jumped out of the squad car. Maybe the kids stepped up to the big leagues. God, these cops are confusing me so much. What do they know, what don't they know? I don't know what I know. Look, we just gotta talk our way out of this barge. Okay. I got this. I, I, okay. These are my people. Just wait. Place I want to be. 
know he's a boy. And we know what he did. And what boy are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't work. I got this right here. Yeah, yeah. So we just gotta stay in the group. They can't come get us if we're in the group. Like a school official. Like, stay in the school. Stay in the school. I'm sorry, school. JJ. Please tell me that you did not bring a gun here. JJ, there are kids. No, dude, I didn't bring a gun, all right? Everything's fine. It might go down tonight. What does that look like? <laughs> it might go down tonight. What did y'all do? Be your first question. Why did you kill Dimitri? Oh, that is too easy. Dimitri, he, he knew too much. Huh? He was compromised. <laughs> okay, but something made you want to go to the archives, obviously. Look, somebody who was supposed to be dead wasn't, all right? Like your dad? Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm sorry. Everybody thinks he's this really rich guy, but he's from the cut, like you. And he's busted his ass for everything that we have. We appreciate him. Okay, so you know how whales make those deep noises? I can hear them calling to me. Hmm. Like he needs my help. I, I cannot let feelings interfere with the mission. No, <laughs> no, Commander. Uh, Definitely not. I think it's defensive wounds from Gaff. Gaff hook. Yeah, you know that thing that you spear your fish. I know what a gaff hook is. My take is that whoever did this is trying to destroy evidence. So gaff them and roll them overboard and let the sharks do the rest. They will not keep the archives looking like this. Why not? We promise you they will not let us in with you like we call out of swamp. <laughs> okay, fine. Sarah, I don't think you understand. It's just like an organ with wrong blood type. It just it doesn't work. You are the single most dramatic person I've ever met. Why not? Did you see me shirt? Yeah. It's $190. Yeah, go away. I'll show them on the other. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're ready for a middle school dance. I look like I got kicked out of the barbershop quick Mr. I, I want to see it. Probably going to buy it or something. Well, you're not wrong. Are you checking yourself no, out? No, I'm not checking myself out. Stop. But sneaking around a secret mission. <laughs> so we have to assume. Can squeeze it up now? In fact, we probably shouldn't even be using your real names. Vlad? From. Vienna. What's mine? Okay. Uh, Valerie from Quebec. Mm, Valerie de Quebec. Yeah, Valerie du Français. How do I put this on? Is that a lavender or plum? <laughs> this dress comes with both the nunchucks. <laughs> oh. Ah. You're so cute. So, what? Oh. Wow. You look clean. I mean, you, you look really you nice. Nice. You have a way with words, Vlad. Why did you come? To finish the mission. Yeah, for real. I already know what the rest of my life is gonna look like. It's gonna be stupid yacht clubs filled with hollow people making useless small talk. And I feel like if I don't get out of the bubble wrap now, I never will. Where are y'all going? We gotta ring it out. Are you gonna hold it for each other? <laughs> This feels better than a job. Like, you know how that feels? This feels better than what I imagine a job would feel like. Oh, this is still outside. Yeah, yeah, some nice work you did on my boat. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. I'm so burly without a gun now, are you? I take one more step, I'll whip that prepubescent face off. Hey, oh, do you, do you feel good about yourself stealing shit? I mean, is your, is your mom proud of you? Is, is your dad proud of you? <laughs> 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 I wish it wasn't so dark. Just a little personal responsibility, right? Who are you? Who are you? Who They're a bunch of teenagers. What's happening? And yeah, wait, isn't rape supposed to be like 20 and everyone else is supposed to be 16? What are you doing beating up minors? Grow up. Fight people your own age, dude. What would he think if he knew you were with me? I'd be hanged for treason. As opposed to. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've got to be careful fighting those enemy Do we know this enemy? I do. He used to work for you. 
He does finger guns way too often. Oh. And he has absolutely no idea when to make the money. I'm on a treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make out a face, but we were able to ID the other boat. Whose boat is it? It's registered to Hayward. If they think this is his kid, press charges, it'll be up to juvenile court. The Pope is 16. Could be tried as an adult. In due time. Press charges. And I thought you were this really laid back surfer dude bro. <laughs> But it turns out you are on a paternal jihad. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this letter translated. What's it going to be like when we get back? You know, like, um... This? Yeah. Nothing changes, mm. I guess. I'll go back to the bubble. Like, Topper, back to the bubble? Oof. Yeah. An arrest warrant for felony destruction of property that went to keep your hands on the counter where I can see him. Wait, 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 wait. Shoot, what'd he do? Huh? Take a look at the warrant. Sorry, you're you're arresting okay. you? arrest What's the proof? Well, be careful. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Goddamn life. I'm gonna tell the truth. Aww. He's a good kid. You know where I'm from? Yeah. Shit. Oh. Oh. Would you really put like a minor in a jail cell? I feel like that wouldn't happen. I don't know. I was never arrested when I was. Under 18. It's been a pleasure working with you, comrade. Let's move on. Gonna kiss in the rain? Pleasure's mine. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Really? That's it? Wait, you're gonna blow our cover. Look, I don't care about my cover, Sarah. I don't care if my friends find out or your boyfriend with his frosty tips. Look, Sarah. <laughs> So that was season one, episode four of Outer Banks. And wow, can this show get me in my feels? Holy crap, I got that, ep I, I went through so many emotions in that episode. Oh my God. So let's talk about that ending for a second. So they didn't show who the guy was. Is it gonna be a character we already know? Is it gonna be a new character? I'm assuming by showing the fish hook that he was the one that killed those two guys and that he has the compass. How did he get the compass? Because the last time we saw it, the lady cop had it. And then we have John B and Sarah, and they're pretty cute. I, they're pretty cute, I like them. They're, they were really funny too, and they seemed really happy together. And the way that they speak to each other seems like really realistic between two high schoolers that are kind of into each other. It's a lot of times dialogue in shows, like you just kind of, you know, take it, but realistically you would never really speak like that. At least me personally, that's how I flirt. 
I make like jokes and stuff like that. So it felt really realistic to me, which I really like. And then there's JJ and Pope and their situation with the kooks, with Rafe and Topper and that other guy that I don't know his name, who doesn't really get many lines, but he kind of just there. That whole situation is just pissing me off. Like it's giving me a physical reaction by how much I hate it. It's pissing me off so much because like it is realistic. That's why it's pissing me off because that shit happens. So we have Rafe, a grown ass adult beating up high schoolers. Grow up, what the hell is he doing? Give friends his own age, why is he hanging out? I'm assuming Topper is also gonna be 16 since he's dating Sarah. Rafe, get friends your own age, dude. What are you doing hanging out with high schoolers? So if Rafe is supposed to be 20, I'm 21. I'm not hanging out with no high schoolers. I, I'm i really worried about that whole situation. I Something really bad has to happen. So currently, I don't think there's anything Rafe could do to get redemption. Topper is very close to the line of going past no redemption, but he's not there yet. If he gets his act together now or soon before he does anything too bad, I might be able to redeem him. I know lots of shows, they introduce like these douchebag characters and then have them get redeemed by the end of the show but they don't do enough to get redeemed in my opinion and I'm like I still don't like them and good job JJ for taking the fall for him yes it was Pope that sunk the boat yes JJ did help him and encouraged him and stuff like that at the end of the day I'm not really getting the college vibe from JJ wow we know Pope is all about his scholarships and all about his future and stuff so I think it's a good that he did that. Anyways I think that's all I have to say about this episode. If you guys want early and uncut reactions leave my patreon down in the description and if you guys enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.